Welcome back to Green Bee Explorer. Today I'm going to show you my Shasta Daisy after a long winter's rest. So you can see leaves are surrounding it right now. I covered it in leaves once everything was kind of dead from the first frost that came in. That helped protect it. But now what I can do is start digging out all these leaves and start exposing it more to the sun and giving it a little bit of an easier time to grow. But it would also do the work itself if I wasn't able to. But we are getting into the beginning of May. There are still chances that a frost could come in. Uh, I'm in Michigan. So if that is the case, I will come back and cover this. But at the moment, looks like our weather's supposed to be good. And I'm just gonna uncover this. And you can see that it's doing really well. Please subscribe and I will show you more about the Shasta Daisy and many other plants. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. One of the best ways to weed your garden is actually during or after a rainstorm. Every The soil is really moist and all the weeds, they come right out. Now this one, uh, back and forth, I could keep it or I could not. Right now it's just invading with a lot of my other flowers like my phlox here. So I am going to remove it but this actually um, I've heard has some benefits. I cannot think of the name of it right now but it is a very dominant weed or plant I should say. So I'm just coming in and pulling it out because I know it'll eventually come back again. I keep an organic garden so I had to do a lot of this by hand, but I really enjoy it. So inside my flocks, you can see that some grasses are trying to sneak their way in. I'm just going to come in by hand and pull them out. But for some of them that are a little bit harder, especially the dandelions in the back here, the best thing to do is actually take this, poke it down, get to the root base, wiggle it. I'm only working with one hand right now. Wiggle, try and get that root base out and pull it out. Let's see if I can get it one hand. Sometimes you need to. Nope, it's starting to let go. So I had to go into the root, kind of work it out, and then try and pull it out. Nope. In that case, it just kind of broke on me because I wasn't grabbing the actual... Oh, there we go. Now I got the root. So very useful tool and I forgot to put on my gloves.